Welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, changes set for Club Mead, news for veterans from the Maryland Motor Vehicles Administration, these stories and more. But first, the Fort Mead community held its annual Martin Luther King Jr. holiday observation on Thursday at the McGill Training Center. This year's program, hosted by the U.S. Army Recruiting Battalion and the Equal Opportunity Office, featured guest speaker Mr. Turhan Robinson, senior civilian aide to the Secretary of the Army for Maryland. Morgan State University's Army ROTC unit provided the day's color guard. The program almost ground to a halt when the scheduled singer of the national anthem couldn't make it, but fourth and fifth graders from Pershing Hill Elementary School, on hand to sing a song to close the program, filled in and did a remarkable job. Senior civilian aide to the Army for the state of Maryland, the Honorable Turan Robinson pointed out that the children's performance was a result of Dr. King's famous I Have a Dream speech. That I Have a Dream speech to me was one of the, the, the best speeches in American oratory. I look at the young men and women here and the children here exemplify that I Have a Dream speech. Look at the ethnic makeup of these children. And look at the accomplishment they had today in singing the national anthem together as a group. You know, look at what we've done in the military as soldiers, Marine Corps, Navy, Coast Guard, all the services working together, regardless of ethnicity or sexual orientation or sex. Look at that. That is part of, that's a result of Dr. King's, I think, I Have a Dream speech. That was his vision. All Americans working together for common good. In other news, starting this year, Maryland veterans can now have a veteran's designation placed on their Maryland driver's license. If you'd like the veteran's designation on your license, the Maryland Vehicle Administration has two options. One, the next time your license is up for renewal, you can make the request at no charge. If you want it right away, then there's a $20 fee. You'll need one of three documents to verify your veteran status, either a copy of your DD Form 214, an honorable discharge certificate, or a letter from the Personnel Center in St. Louis confirming your veteran status. For more information, you can go to the Maryland Department of Veterans Affairs website at www.mdva.state.md.us. Meanwhile, if you stop by Club Mead in the last few days, you'll notice that the doors are locked and a sign is posted stating that the club will be closed until April 7th. MWR is currently in phase one of a project that is making over the club. As a result, there will be no food service at Club Mead until the phase one construction is done. In the meantime, fans of the old golf course grill and snack bar will be happy to learn that the Fort Meade Conference Center is open while the Club Meade renovations are taking place. We spoke with the Conference Center's Doug Diener. We are finally reopening for lunch. Uh, as you know, we used to be open at the, here at the golf course for lunch. Ran from 11 to like 1.30, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, a little bit different scenario when we became the Conference Center in that generally we only offered food after the conferences. Um, because the club closing for three months for uh, some work to be done on it and because we've been just beating on everybody about we want lunches to return here uh, everybody decided let's do it now. The only difference that we want everybody to understand is that while we are taking the place of the club for that period of time we are not offering buffets for lunch. We are a sandwich type where we're interested in getting the folks here, getting them some good food to eat and getting them back to work within a very short period of time. And uh, we we're hoping that with our healthier menu that we have now, the salads, the uh, yogurts, and so on and so forth, that we'll have uh, very appealing products for everybody. And that's Mead Week for this week. We close with more from Thursday's Martin Luther King Jr. Holiday Observance and the fourth and fifth graders from Pershing Hill Elementary School. Until next week, I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week. Mm -hmm.